today is July 13th, 2022, and this is your daily Half-Life 3 update. There is no news about Half-Life 3. So I have a little uh, rant slash PSA that I need to do. Uh, so I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible, even though it's probably going to be a long video. I set up the uh, tripod for the camera, or whatever you call it, because it's only got one leg instead of three. So I don't know what that's called. I know it's not tripod, because try is three. No pod. I don't know. Uh, anyway, what I'm going to be talking about is prequels and sequels. And I'm, I'm going to be mainly focusing on movies, although all this stuff is going to be applicable to other forms of media like uh, TV shows or books, graphic novels, comics, whatever. Right. So first, let's you know state what a prequel and a sequel is. This isn't a dictionary definition, but basically. A, a sequel is a story that takes place after a pre-existing story. And a prequel is a story that takes place before a pre-existing story. So, let's go to Alien. The Alien franchise. You, have a, you had Alien, and then you had Aliens, which took place after Alien. Now, Aliens was a sequel to Alien. And then, later down the line, eventually we got the Alien Covenant. Now, Alien Covenant takes place before Alien. Alien Covenant is a prequel to Alien. So well, it's really like a mid quote because we don't know what the heck's going on with Prometheus. I don't think anyone did. Uh, but we're just gonna, for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to call it a prequel. Alien Covenant is a prequel to Alien. Now, you can't switch those terms around willy-nilly just because of chronological order, right? So, for example... Alien is not a sequel to Alien Covenant. Just because Alien takes place after doesn't mean it's a sequel. Okay. Alien Covenant was made after and takes place before, so it's a prequel. And also, Alien is not a prequel to Aliens. Just because Alien takes place before Aliens. I know Star Wars people like to get weird about the chronological order of things and how they watch. But you don't watch Aliens and then Alien. Okay, Alien isn't anything. Alien is the original, the the basis. Everything, everything that exists, everything else that's made exists around around Alien. You know, if they were to make some other movie that takes place during Alien, I believe there's a term for that. I don't know what that's called. Like a a story that takes place simultaneously to another story. I'm sure it would probably have some prequel or sequel elements to it, uh, so probably something like that. But anyway, and that's part of the problem that you got with the uh, Hobbit trilogy, uh, because they, when they made the Lord of the Rings trilogy first, uh, the Hobbit trilogy became a prequel to Lord of the Rings, which it, the Hobbit is not a prequel. Lord of the Rings is a sequel series to the Hobbit. Now, I'm not going to get into when he made this when when he wrote the stuff right uh because i know i feel like the hobbit and lord of the rings was like kind of the least important stuff that tolkien made in his world like the silmarillion like that's really the important stuff he just kind of made the hobbit so people would buy his stuff and know his name you know get the goodwill get the goodwill of the fans before dropping whatever the heck the silmarillion is on them so the Hobbit trilogy didn't work because it became a prequel to Lord of the Rings, which it never was. Uh, when you when you take a sh when you take a series like Lord of the Rings that has immortal, ageless characters, and then you make a prequel, those characters like Galadriel and Legolas, they kind of have to be in the Hobbit, even though they weren't in the book. I mean, you don't question why Legolas wasn't in the Hobbit book because he just hadn't been introduced yet. Once he has been introduced then you kind of got to, what was he up to? What was he doing? Maybe you didn't need to include him as much as you did in the Hobbit trilogy, but he needed to be in it at some way, especially when you meet his father, right? So moving on from the Hobbit, let's go back to Star Wars for a second. Uh, the first Star Wars movie came out in 1977, which is called Star Wars. Uh, nobody would have cared about this movie until they had made Empire Strikes Back that's when people started actually caring about Star Wars. I mean, not 
not when they actually cared about Star Wars, but if Empire Strikes Back never came out, people would not be talking about the first Star Wars movie as much as they do right now. That's that's the thing that kind of sold the Star Wars franchise. It's it's a much better movie, in my opinion. Uh, and then eventually they made Return of the Jedi, a, a uh, inferior sequel to Empire Strikes Back. So, I think I take my breath, catch my breath here. I've been talking a lot. Uh, Right, I, around this time, around I think around Empire Strikes Back, no, I think around Return of the Jedi time, Lucas started going back and retroactively changing his stuff. Uh, Star Wars became Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Empire Strikes Back became Episode Five, and Return of the Jedi became Episode Six. They had something in between around the holidays that we don't talk about, and then they made two more Ewok movies, which we also don't talk about. Now. Keep in mind, yes, Empire Strikes Back is the second Star Wars movie that was made. We don't call it Star Wars 2, right? Because it's just it's just not Star Wars 2. It's Star Wars 5. That's what we call it. That, that's what it. It's, that's what it's, that, that's what it was decided to be called was Star Wars 5. So even though Phantom Menace is the sixth Star Wars movie, we still it's Star Wars 1 or it's, Star Wars episode one, right? You know, you got you always gotta kind of like respect how things are called in regards to numbering. But let's let's simplify the numbering, right? Let's let's get away from all these subtitles and weird orderings. Let's look at the uh, Toy Story franchise for a second here. You had four very good Toy Story movies, movies that I like a lot. Toy Story two was my favorite of the four. I would very much like to see a Toy Story five. I would hope at some point they make a Toy Story 5. Now, when I say that, I'm being specific in what I mean when I say I want to see a Toy Story 5. Uh, Toy Story 5 is some type of con continuation within the continuity of Toy Story that takes place after Toy Story 4, because 5 comes after 4. Right. So that's what I want. If I wanted something different, I would refer to that as something different. Okay. If I wanted a prequel to the first Toy Story, I would say that. I would say, I want a prequel to the first story, Toy Story. Although I would be just as happy with a, with a prequel to the first Toy Story movie, provided there were, wasn't some arbitrary reason that I couldn't go watch the movie. Now, hopefully, seven minutes into this, eight minutes into this video, you're understanding what I'm saying by now, if you're still even watching, right? When I say Toy Story 5, I mean a sequel to Toy Story 4, okay? Yeah, I don't mean, I don't mean a remake of Toy Story 1. If I wanted a remake of Toy Story 1, which I don't, I would say, I want a remake of Toy Story 1, right? So you understand what I'm saying? And If they were to make a, let's say, let, let's say they make a prequel to Toy Story 1, right? They call it whatever. Is that Lightyear? Okay, let's just, even though I don't think Lightyear, even though I don't consider a Lightyear a Toy Story movie, and I, 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 I'm pretty much always going to ignore that movie. Let's just say for, the, for this instance that Lightyear is the prequel to Toy Story 1. Lightyear is... A Toy Story movie, it's a prequel to Toy Story 1. You wouldn't call Lightyear Toy Story 5. While, yes, it, it was the fifth Toy Story movie made, although it was technically the sixth Toy Story movie made, because they had that animated movie thing, but you wouldn't call it Toy Story 5, would you? No, because it was a prequel to Toy Story 1. So, if I said if I was talking to someone and I said, I hope they make a Toy Story 5, and that person responds with, oh, they didn't make a Toy Story 5, it's called Lightyear, I would say, you're crazy. That's not Toy Story 5, that's Lightyear. That's a, that's a prequel spin-off garbage of the first Toy Story movie. That's not what I want. What I want, and what I'm talking about in this particular conversation with this hypothetical moron, is Toy Story 5. 
right? And yeah, I also don't care about a fan-made Toy Story movie. You know, I think if someone makes a, if someone takes, if someone goes and makes a fan-made movie about Toy Story, I think that's neat. If I have the time, I'm, I I may watch it, but I don't care all that much. It's not something that I would want to talk about all that much. But yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully Toy Story 5. I don't know if Pixar will actually make it. I, I think they will. I still hope Pixar will one day make Toy Story 5. Uh, even though from everything I know about how Pixar operates, uh, Toy Story 5 seems kind of unlikely, I suppose, and, okay, this metaphor continues to be beneficial. The most recent uh, Toy Story movie, Lightyear, it, it, it wasn't as impactful as I, as I thought it would be. Uh, you know, Hypothetical Lightyear came out in 2020, and came out in like 2020, and I feel like I don't hear people talking about uh, Lightyear as much as I hear them talking about the other Toy Story movies, you know, Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 2. I, I also realize in this analogy, Toy Story 2 is my favorite Toy Story movie, you know, in the metaphor and in the real, the real world scenario. Although I did see Toy Story 1 before I saw Toy Story 2, so that that, that, that doesn't apply. Uh, but yeah, I hope that uh, I hope that clears things up. I hope that, that explains things for people who might be a little confused uh, when I say I hope we make a I hope we get a Toy Story 5. So when I say I want a Toy Story 5, I hope you realize what I'm talking about because I talk about Toy Story 5 a lot. And I don't want to hear. I don't. I don't want to constantly be hearing people saying, "Well, Lightyear was Toy Story 5." No, Lightyear was not Toy Story 5. And I didn't even. I didn't even realize how well the Lightyear metaphor worked before making this video. Cause like I knew that I knew the beats I wanted to go when I was talking about this. You know, I wanted to go to Alien. I wanted to go to Hobbit. I wanted to go to Star Wars, Toy Story. But I just didn't realize how well Toy Story and Lightyear worked for these purposes. Uh, it was it was, a, it was a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. To go back to Star Wars. So yeah, that was a, that was a long a long rant video. I haven't made one this long in a while. Hopefully you watched it because I. I'm pleased with it. And that has been your daily Toy Story 5 update for July 14th, 2022.